started accusing me that I work in a funeral home, I, I sleep with dead bodies. And then I was like, ah. Fearless woman working with dead bodies talks about difficulties qualifying as mortician considered taboo. Philinda, a Kenyan mortician, has opened up about her work as a female mortician and the stigma from society. And after years of working with dead bodies, the mother of one has embraced her field despite the discrimination. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And if you have been here, it's always a pleasure having you. It's news o'clock. A Kenyan female mortician, Philinda, has opened up about her profession and the challenges she encountered on her journey to become a qualified mortician. The audacious mom received training at the University of Nairobi before officially beginning the work. Philinda disclosed that her family disapproved of her decision to become a mortician when she first told them. She recounted that she originally wanted to become a nurse, but her mother could not afford. Realized my parents, my mama could not provide for the school fees. In March 2015, she began training at the school where she recalled an experience that nearly made her abandon the decision to work on the dead. Here's what she said. The person in charge at the training school told me to go and do some visitation. The cabinet was higher, and so when we were pulling out the body, the troll fell and broke, and the dead body fell on me. I jumped through the window. From that day, I said I am not going to walk in the mortuary where people can wake up and beat me, she recalled. When asked when her mom and other three siblings said when she told them about the decision to work in a mortuary, Philinda said they rejected the idea. She said, Mom was scared. She told me to sit down and think of my life if I'm ready to use some drugs. I said, let me be somewhere in the moment and think about it. I went and told her I was ready to do that course, but she said she wouldn't pay anything. Oh, one priest from a Catholic church inspired me and told me, I have a cousin who works in a mortuary. We are going to visit that cousin of mine and see whether you can be inspired to do that work. Philinda narrated that the Catholic priest helped raise some funds. Since finishing the course, she has been working as a mortician for nine years. She admits that being a female mortician is challenging because of her social stigma. Her ex-husband once accused her of sleeping with dead people, she said. My sister said she cannot associate with someone who works with dead bodies. She also said you cannot cook for us. After years of working as a mortician, Philinda embraced her work. At first, I didn't want people to know I work in the mortuary. It was only in 2022 I made it public that I work in the mortuary. And I was like, ah, working in a mortuary. But I was so happy that is a medical related cost. I just told him that I am ready to go and work in a mortuary. We mm. can go and visit that cousin. And the time I met that cousin, she was already. And then I started asking myself, guy, what am I going to do now? <laughs> I am ready to am I ready to work in a mortuary for for mm. you? Mm. I was so scared. Then there's that cousin of his explained to me that being a mortician, I'm all working mm. in a mortuary is a medical related case and you can end up being a doctor or a nurse. I was so happy. Wow, what a courageous woman. Going through some comments on Facebook, this is what we found, guys. Julie Bamberger commented, It takes a very special person to do a job like this. We are all going to die one day and we all need someone like her who really cares for what she does. Big ups to her. It's by far one of the most difficult jobs out there. Well done. You are braver than most. We need more people like you. Rosanna also commented, Well done to standing your ground and getting on with your job despite the criticism and the judgment against you. Hold your head up high. You are an angel. It is a terrifying place. Looking at her face, my mind speaks out of ten. <laughs> If all of us can't do it, then who can? Big up to you, sister. I suggest you to go and do it all. Don't judge, but I will also stay away from her. She is surrounded by the dead every day. 
she could kill you and don't feel any different after whoa and just a lot more of comments guys please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification bell please guys don't forget to subscribe very important it might be too late